to where the plus where the models are like. Welcome to Lane Bryant. Ladies and gentlemen, Lane Bryant and Kiss rock the runway. shows are often filled with clothes and sizes most women could never fit into. They also don't usually have 70s glam rock bands hammering out music in the background. But then again, Lane Bryant has never been your typical fashion label. The company caters to plus-size women, carrying sexy designs in sizes ranging from 14 to 28. Their recent runway show featured models and celebrities and lots of skin, not to mention live rock and roll. All-American women, God bless them all. I want to have sex with all the KISS band members, and I hope that will happen. It's skin, and it's sex, and it's fashion, it's, it's rock and roll, it's everything, it's exciting. It's an army of beautiful women changing the way people see beauty. I think this show probably would not have happened 10 years ago and what's so wonderful is that there's a place for this now and that women are finding a voice. This event featured a handful of plus-size celebrities, including wrestler Joni Lohrer, formerly known as China, R&B singer Kelly Price, and models Carrie Otis, Kate Dillon, and Anna Nicole Smith. The crowd loves it, and they're out there, and they're hooting and hollering, and they're just like, it changes people's minds. You know, maybe they go in with a preconceived notion about what a big girl's going to look like, and they come out going, oh my gosh, that was amazing. You show us everything you got. We have 1,400 people here tonight because 1,400 people wanted to come. Actually, we turned away about two to 300 people. So it is growing in itself, and it's creating a phenomenon in the fashion industry, uh, which I can't think of any other situation that we've seen something grow like this year after year after year. I think that the plus-size models are really more like regular people. They're really the size of myself and uh, of yourself. The other models, you know, basically, they look either anorexic or they're on heroin. So that's probably not a good image to portray to the world. These are these plus size models are just the real sizes. It's making plus size, which I'm trying to get away from that title. It's making it more mainstream. So it's not just, you know, it's not just big girls. And it's, it's, it's a mixture of everything. So it's cool. That's what I've been waiting for. Just to get away from that plus size. I mean, it's not an attractive word. You know, we don't call it like skinny models, you know, skinny models. You know, it's like we're just models. It's almost starting to rival Victoria's Secret. And eventually they might just win and make the plus size women into an equal icon as a skinny, big boobed Victoria's Secret girl. I think that would be wonderful. I don't know what's going to top this. I don't know what they're going to do next year. This is pretty big. We're going to leave you now with a bit of a story that I told you about last week. It's Kiss playing a lingerie show in New York City for New York City's Fashion Week. And so, lucky boys, we just happen to have a little bit of viz from that. So we're going to leave you with that. That is it for now.
Come back in a while and get back in the loop.